I'm really passionate about getting people involved in crafts and making and upcycling. And that's regardless of gender, age, culture, background, um, because of all of the benefits which we all know about. And um, obviously I'm aware of heritage crafts, trying to champion all of the um, older traditional crafts. Um, and then we bring in um, cultural crafts from all around the world that are in the country. Um, there's a lot more appreciation now following the TV shows that are highlighting all these skills, um, but there's still barriers to participation how can we involve them and give them the benefits so that's that's really my question yeah well it's a great question and i think it's absolutely right uh, i mean obviously organizations like the heritage craft association are out there trying to promote these crafts not just not just those people that are currently doing them but obviously trying to get other people involved with 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 taking them up and uh I'm involved with a number of programs that, that do what you say. Um, we run a thing in Blackburn called the Festival of Making, <clears throat> which didn't happen last year because of the pandemic and probably, well, it may not happen this year again because of the pandemic. Um, but that is a, a free to everyone festival that happens in, uh, in Blackburn Town Centre. You know, it's just nice to do things with your hands. And I think festivals like that really, really show uh, exactly how fun it can be, but also how good for your mental and physical health. Um, I also, I mean, I, I, I'm uh, the co-chairman of an organization called Future Textiles, which is um, part of the Princess Foundation. And we teach young people to sew. Uh, so we run school age uh, workshops from Dumfries House in Ayrshire uh, and from Trinity Boy Wharf in East London. And we run free classes for anyone at any school, anywhere in those regions. Bring, if you're a teacher and you wanna bring your pupils along to classes to learn how to sew, Future Textiles, part of the Princess Foundation is it. I mean, we normally, I think every year we teach about a thousand pupils uh, to sew. Not only do they learn a great craft, uh, they get a, be a, love a fun day out. They get to, you know, they get to get themselves outside of the classroom. A, a lot of them do not have opportunities to do any of these things at home. You know, their, their family situation is such that there are not opportunities for them to learn crafts. As you say, some schools still teach sewing, some schools still teach other crafts, some do not. It's not, it's not ubiquitous, and I think it should be, because I think we, as uh, you know, we learn so much from having the opportunity to, to, to play with craft. And, um, you know, I know that when I was at school, I was fortunate to do all sorts of art and craft and it has really shaped, you know, the way I think. And, and you know, it's important that we are able to develop all facets of the brain. I started a thing called the Big Community So last year, which was, really just an attempt, um, I actually did it, with the, did it with the cabinet office to try and get people making face masks for their communities. And what we did find, because a lot of people were in lockdown, we had families who were making masks together. So mums and kids, grandmothers and daughters, grandmothers and grandkids, dads, dads fixing. So we, we, we got loads of stories. People were sharing their stories through the the big community so hashtag we got to see loads of people getting involved with making at home and 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 sewing machines sold out across the uk and all sorts of great stuff so things you know i think i think there is a there is a there is a wave of momentum back towards craft uh that is happening naturally and i think is only going to continue in one direction but um you know, we just all need to do what we're doing, which is be great advocates for the crafts that we love and, and engage in. And eventually, you know, more and more people will get the opportunity. So uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that we will see positive, positive changes. But, you know, it's not moving fast enough for my liking. Um, but it is, I think, I feel hopeful moving in the right direction.